New numbers from the college board show the cost of college increased again this year, but at a slower rate. The average price at private institutions rose less than 4%. For high school seniors, the first step is getting in. John Blackstone introduces us to a man who says he can get students into a top-tier school for a price. What do you think it means? The students spending hours after school and weekends at think tank learning centers in the San Francisco area are looking for an edge that will get them admitted to the nation's most competitive colleges. Think tank CEO Stephen Ma. Have you cracked the code? If I were to summarize with one sentence, right in front of you right now, John, I think I've cracked the code. You can tell. I can tell. It's a multicolored tree. Ma, a math whiz and former hedge fund analyst, created his own secret algorithm to predict the odds of a student's admission to top-ranked schools. So Moneyball is, is the first time someone used a mathematical model to study what would otherwise be perceived as a very highly subjective humanistic judgment. The judgment Ma is predicting is that of college admissions officers. His secret algorithm weighs variables in both academic performance and extracurricular activities that can change year to year. If the students at Think Tank follow Ma's advice, he says there's a 93% chance they'll get into the school of their choice. Even the college admission officers find the process mystifying, Yes, but you have demystified it. I think so, and they, they, they would like to deny that. <laughs> Ma is so confident that he even offers a money-back guarantee. That's what led Victor Chen to Think Tank, even though he seemed like the ideal college applicant. 2360 SAT, straight A's. Mm -hmm. Your parents were worried you weren't going to get into the college they wanted you to get into. Yeah. Chen's parents, immigrants from China, paid Think Tank about $10,000, seeking a guarantee that he would be admitted to the University of California, Berkeley. Now, your mother was saying, this is where you're going to go, and I'm going to make sure you get there. Definitely. Sounds like the tiger mom thing. You know? <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> Ma's calculation showed that to be certain of getting into Berkeley, Chen needed a significant internship to fill out his resume. It's more of the thought that, well, you have all the stats on paper, but people who have stats on paper don't necessarily get in. Chen did get in. He graduated in 2012 and is now working in San Francisco in finance. But think tanks guarantee worries Denise Pope, a Stanford educator and co-founder of Challenge Success, an organization that works to make the college admissions process less stressful. It's become this business that is really preying on the fear of parents and kids, and often preying on the fear of immigrants or first-generation college folks who, who don't know the system here and are misunderstanding it. Ma says most of his clients are Asian because of the demographics of the San Francisco area. Very, very contrary to the statement that we capitalize on commodification of fear. I sincerely believe we do the opposite. We give hope to people. The lower the odds of admission, the more Ma charges. He says one family put up $600,000 so he would work with their son who was failing and about to be expelled from high school. With Ma's mentoring, he now attends Syracuse University. We turn an unsuccessful kid failing into someone who is now very successful on a path to more success. It's a path some 12,000 students are trying to follow in Think Tank's 12 San Francisco area facilities. Lisa One's teens are tutored here seven days a week. I was very stressed out. I didn't really know what we needed to do, how it was being done. And I think competitively, every student out there has a counselor. One believes the guidance her kids get at Think Tank has set them on the right path. I'd love my daughter to go in Ivy League because what parent wouldn't want, right? Ma is looking to expand to other cities, both in the U.S. and China, figuring that with so many families worried about college admissions, the odds of success are in his favor. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Mateo, California.